So I saw another design contest just randomly spawn in, so let's just review this guy early. This is Blaze Taurus. It's a defense type that I released back in 2021, like late 2021, and it was a beast. It was one of the most overpowered Beyblades I have ever made. And now that it's in the sparking system, or cyber spark, is it any better? Is it any worse? Uh, we're gonna find out. Now, before we get into the parts, I just wanted to show off the older designs for this. The first one was a circle. Very fun. Then I added these horns onto it in the version 2 or 2.0 mold. And uh, this is when it really started to become overpowered because it was much thicker and heavier. And now we have the CyberSpark version that um, changes up the shape quite a bit, which uh, we're gonna take a look at right now. Beginning with the chip itself, Taurus hasn't really changed much from the original. It still keeps the overall fiery color scheme and um, the weight distribution on it isn't as great as EXO, although the differences are very minor, but um, it is what it is, and at least the color scheme, like, it's just, it's awesome. I love the space color scheme. This right here is the part that has changed the most. So Blaze was originally a very round Beyblade, but as you can see, it's more of an octagon-like shape, and it does keep the horns from Mold 2, and I think that this is a pretty good way to balance it out. I still think it's going to be really good, but since it's not a perfect circle, it might not have as much stamina. Now, back to these horns. Um, they have a little bit of flex since they're made of rubber, not plastic. So that could um, possibly make contact and maybe absorb impact or something like that. But either way, I think this will just be a super good blade for defense and stuff. Because this thing, dude, it's really heavy. Um, for a layer base or a blade or whatever So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's move on for the chassis. We have 1d and yes, that's right No longer 1d dash. It's just 1d and you might be wondering why did I change the name ever so slightly? Well, that's because there really wasn't much of a point of calling this dash when the normal 1d wasn't even compatible in the system anyway and uh, single chassis don't exist in this system so it's just normal 1D and um, it's a pretty good chassis. It's not the heaviest thing, but it is very round. It's pretty uh, defensive and has good stamina. So for defense and stamina combos, this is definitely a must have. The driver, I actually did switch out. Originally it was massive, but now it's ball. And then originally this is called Banshee, but now it's just called ball because that's what it is. And it just makes more sense for the name. And the reason why I switched out the driver was because the original driver just didn't make sense as like the first defense driver for the series. So I switched it to something a little bit more standard and performance wise, I'd say it's a little bit better for stamina, but defense, you can still kind of get it to work but it's still a very solid driver nonetheless. Once again, putting this thing together is very basic, and once it's all together, here we have Blaze Taurus 1D Ball. And I love this thing's design. I think the shape itself, like it's not too crazy, um, but these horns are somewhat unique. I don't really see these pieces used that often. Um, and it's just so thick, it's very tanky, and I'm excited to see um, how much this thing weighs and also how it performs, but let's get to the weight first. Of course, let's begin with the chip, which really shouldn't weigh too much. Yeah, it's like three grams, pretty light. Um, then we have um, the layer base, which is 14 grams, pretty good. And then of course, the full completed layer weighs uh, 18 grams, which is once again, very heavy. Um, for the chassis, 1D, it's 12 grams, which is fine. It's good enough for what it is. And yeah, the drivers don't really matter. So overall, this Beyblade weighs a total of 32 grams. So that's only a little bit lighter than Dragon, and Dragon was really good. So I'm excited to see how this guy does. So um, let's get to the test battles now. Okay, well, of course, test launch, start things out. And yeah, it's just chilling in the center. It's actually really stable looking. Okay, good sign. Our first opponent will be very easy to kill. Here we have um, Last Lucifer. All right, Taurus one. No, I'm kidding, we're not counting that. Look at him go. Yeah, I wonder who's gonna win this one. No 
was a lot closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> we got Lucifer in free spin mode. Let's see if this will help it out at all. Yeah, no, it just, it just died. Let's put it against something that'll actually give it a run for its money. Here we have Kingdom Kirby, it's one of the coolest bays I've ever made. Alright, let's see what happens. And yeah, Kirby has won by a decent amount. It's not that surprising that Kirby is one. I mean, it is like about two grams heavier than Taurus, so you know, it seems like they could like rival each other, though. Like they have the potential to be like decent rivals. Like yeah, because a launch order then Taurus one. So because like depending on launch order, the one that you want last wins. I would say these guys are pretty much like even. So that's kind of cool to see because like that means we have two really solid. Um, defense like Beyblade CDs. Oh, this time Tarth won with a ring out. It might be from the um, horns on it or something. Who knows? We all saw this one coming. We gotta put it up against my main guy, Cyber XO. I love seeing these two in the same stage. It just feels so right. That feels right too. Let's try that again. That was a terrible launch. Bro. Alright, so Tars is still OP. Nice to see that. Come on, XO. Wow. Huge hit. There we go. That's my boy. Let's go. Something broke off. And is that a double burst? Okay, so. Oh, this got messed up. Whatever. So. The chip fell out. Does that mean this burst? I'm gonna say that Tars burst because the driver came off okay well that's um all right okay so overall this is definitely still a very formidable opponent and i think is gonna like dominate uh, my lego base for quite a while like bro, did you see what it did to exo like it just kind of ripped the chip out um yeah not bad so yeah like, subscribe stuff like that and i'll see you in the next video